Downtown tonight, the sudden death of a six-year-old giraffe at the Reed Park Zoo. Yeah, we understand that a staff member in training put the branches from a toxic plant into the giraffe stalls. Watoto, possibly poisoned by oleander leaves, and there you see a photograph, a young one. There are several giraffes there at the zoo, but where this one was Watoto. Uh, another giraffe tonight also exposed, um, and they're looking at signs of some sickness there. But uh, this has a lot of people wondering uh, what's, what's going on, how did these giraffes get this? And as you know, oleanders are bad for animals, but also people, Emily. Yeah, Christy. It's not uncommon for zookeepers to give animals in the park brush clippings. However, they never give them oleander because it's toxic. It's this plant that's responsible for the giraffe's death, and zookeepers are starting to question if it should be removed from the park altogether. I love giraffes more than like other animals. We always have a pass here, and we come here almost every weekend to maybe sometimes just feed the giraffe and leave. So it's really sad. The oleander was put into two of the four giraffe stalls on Monday night. He was lethargic. He was laying down, and very seldom do you see a giraffe laid down. Uh, his appetite wasn't there. At 6 o'clock in the evening Tuesday, Watoto died, and another giraffe, Denver, is in real danger. It's horrible. It's really, really bad, and I just can't believe that somebody who would work in a zoo would not know that. The zookeepers say it was a staff member in training that's responsible. Our philosophy is if you don't know what it is, you don't feed it. The zoo is staying tight-lipped on what will happen to that person. Our focus right now is trying to get our giraffe better. We will evaluate the personnel aspect of it once we have gotten over the crisis of the giraffe. But Jim Schnomeyer says he developed a bond with Matoto and the whole thing is frustrating. Very attached and when you see things happening and you can't do anything about it, it makes things even you know, more difficult. And zoo visitors are left frustrated too. It makes me feel sad and it makes me feel kind of upset because I love animals. And zoo officials tell me that they'll be evaluating things in the coming days and that includes they'll be carefully considering whether or not to remove this oleander that surrounds the park. Reporting live from Breed Park, I'm Emily Guggenmiss, News 4 Tucson. And Emily, thanks for that.